Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be discussing edema and how it affects wound healing. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. So swelling is also known as edema, and this negatively affects wound healing because the prolonged accumulation of fluid in the tissues impair the healing as excess fluids impact blood supply and oxygen delivery, which is essential for wound healing. So if you have a patient that does have swelling edema, um, especially in the lower extremities, we need to figure out why they are having this edema and we need Need to uh, reduce it. So causes of swelling. So swelling, especially in the lower extremities, may be a result of systematic disease or damage to the veins or lymphatic system. Okay, so the presence of swelling may be associated with inflammation as a result of dependency of the leg and an indication of circulatory impairment or congestive heart failure. Okay, the lower, the lower extremities are vulnerable to swelling as they require assistance from the calf muscle to overcome gravity to return the blood back to the heart as a component of normal circulation. So understanding the cause, okay? So there is normally an underlying condition that needs to be determined first to effectively, effectively treat the condition, the swelling, okay? Because not all swelling is treated the same, okay? So we may be assessing for medical disorders or mechanisms to assist the venous return, so the blood flow back to the heart. Um, a stationary lifestyle, sitting or standing for long periods of time impact the development of swelling okay um, implementing activities for the calf muscles and ankle exercises are very helpful especially while someone's using compression therapy so if they already have compressions to go for a slight walk do some um, just small little muscle contractions it will help push that fluid back to the heart um, and, and give give the body what it needs those the contractions to get it flowing back upwards and reduce that swell, swelling especially at first when you first get the compressions on it's going to take a little bit of time to remove all that fluid off the legs so definitely going for small walks um, getting those muscles contracting will definitely help. So benefits of compression therapy. So compressions, they can come in um, different devices. So you have your compression wraps, your sleeves, your stockings, the pumps, um, and it's a means of mechanically supporting your venous and lymphatic system to return the blood flow to the heart, okay? So the best method of compression therapy is going to be determined by your healthcare provider who's going to take into consideration the medical condition, lifestyle needs, and the wound healing plan of care okay um, because sometimes when we're healing a wound we'll use the wraps okay because those are really the easiest so then the bandage isn't moving but then after the wound is healed we like to go to a stocking so it's just easily pulled on like a sock but if you had a bandage on and you're trying to pull on a tight sock over top of that sometimes it can be very difficult um, so sometimes the plan of care has to change a little bit depending if we're healing a wound and then after um, the wound has healed. So how does swelling impact tissue around the wound? Okay, so we need to protect this area because if we don't, it can cause a wound to get larger. So it requires very good skin hygiene, weeping from swollen limbs it can be a medium for infections so we need to be cleansing that very well with a ph balance gentle skin wound cleanser 
and sometimes we need to use a topical cream around the peri wound so around the tissue around the wound um, to address the dermatitis commonly seen with prolonged swelling and drainage okay treatment of swelling is a very very important aspect of disease and wound management and it requires an individual plan of care so not all care plans can be the same every single person is going to need a different plan of care and how we're going to treat that wound because everybody's wounds are different so it's very important when we have a wound especially on our legs and we have that swelling we are taking measures to make sure that the legs are staying um, reduced in size that the swelling isn't so over abundant where it's just oh like pulling at that wound because if we have that pulling it's not going to allow that wound to heal okay um if our legs start weeping because we have so much edema there it's just going to start pooling out of the wound and then we're going to be dealing with excess moisture um and it kind of tears out around the wound and the wound will start getting larger so super super important that when we have swelling or edema with a wound that we are managing it with that said um, if we don't have a wound and we have the edema we also still need to treat the edema because stagnant fluid in our legs can cause wounds can cause infections without a wound even being there so super and super important that we are treating edema um, so that's all I have for this video I hope you did find it helpful and I will catch you in my next one see you guys